What comes to mind when you hear the word hydrogen? Perhaps it reminds you of those awkward days in high school chemistry or the explosive Hindenburg disaster. Or maybe you picture rocket ships blasting off into outer space on a cloud of hydrogen fuel. Toyota certainly has, and its invention of hydrogen engine technology is on the cusp of reimagining the industry. So what is a hydrogen power car? Starting with the basics, a hydrogen power car, also known as a fuel cell car, uses compressed hydrogen gas as fuel. This gas is stored in carbon fiber reinforced tanks, kind of like the ones you use for scuba diving. So listen to this, when the car is in motion, the hydrogen gas is fed into an onboard fuel cell stack. This is where the magic happens. The fuel cell stack uses a process called electrolysis to transform the hydrogen's chemical energy into electrical energy. This electrical energy then powers the car's electric motors which drive the wheels. The tailpipe emissions are zero and the only waste produced is pure water. No smelly exhaust fumes, no harmful pollutants, just pure water. The functioning of this fuel cell is similar to that of a battery except that instead of storing energy, it generates energy. When the hydrogen enters the anode, it separates into an electron and a proton. The conductive current collector gathers the electrons and feeds them into the car's high voltage circuitry, where it's used to power the electric motor. The electric motor also gets an extra boost from a battery, which captures energy from the regenerative braking and provides additional power to the electric motor. And the best part, the byproduct of the reaction in the fuel cell stack is water vapor emitted through the exhaust. And how will Toyota use this to take over the industry? Toyota is one of the largest automakers in the world and has been a leader in developing sustainable transportation options. In recent years, the company has made significant investments in hydrogen fuel cell technology as a way to reduce emissions and increase fuel efficiency. Toyota has been investing in hydrogen fuel cell technology for several years now and has made significant progress in developing vehicles that will use this clean and renewable energy source. One of the most popular models is the Mirai, which Toyota showcased at the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics. In fact, Toyota had a fleet of 475 Mirai cars serving as official vehicles for the games. And let me tell you, these cars are seriously impressive. They emit zero tailpipe emissions and the only waste produced is pure water. No harmful pollutants are being released into the atmosphere. And then again, how does Toyota intend to leverage this technology to dominate the industry. Well, for starters, the company has a strong commitment to hydrogen production. Toyota is investing in the development of hydrogen fueling stations and has already installed many of them in Japan. The company has partnered with several energy companies such as Air Liquida and Iwatani to develop hydrogen infrastructure and promote its use in transportation. This includes the development of hydrogen refueling stations and the implementation of fuel cell buses and trucks. Toyota has also teamed up with BMW to develop fuel cell technology. The partnership aims to jointly develop a fuel cell system which could be used in future products for both automakers. This collaboration will enable the companies to share their technological expertise and reduce development costs, ultimately accelerating the adoption of fuel cell technology in the automotive industry. Another factor that sets Toyota apart from other automakers is its long-standing commitment to innovation and sustainability. Well, for one, the company has a proven track record in producing high-quality, reliable cars. Toyota has been around for over 80 years and has built a reputation for producing some of the best vehicles in the entire world. Additionally, Toyota has been working on hydrogen fuel cell technology for a long time, giving them a head start over other companies who are just entering the market. This experience has allowed them to refine their technology and produce vehicles that are both efficient and affordable. So how is the hydrogen power cars different from electric cars? Well, while both types of vehicle use electricity to power the engine, the source of that electricity is different. 
Electric cars use batteries to store electricity, whilst hydrogen cars use fuel cells to convert hydrogen into electricity. One of the biggest advantages of hydrogen cars is that they can be refueled much faster than electric cars can be recharged. It only takes a few minutes to refuel a hydrogen car, while electric cars can take hours to recharge their batteries. But like any new technology, there are some challenges to overcome. One of the biggest obstacles facing the adoption of hydrogen cars is the lack of infrastructure. There are currently only a few dozen hydrogen fueling stations in the United States, making it difficult for drivers to find a place to refuel their cars. But despite these challenges, Toyota is committed to its hydrogen strategy and is investing heavily in the development of fuel cell technology. And with the Japanese government aiming to reach net zero emissions by 2050, the demand for clean energy vehicles like the Mirai is only going to increase. Cars that will have hydrogen. Sustainable energy has become a key focus across various industries, and the automotive sector is no exception. Many companies are now investing heavily in the development of electric and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, with the aim of reducing emissions and improving overall efficiency. Let's take a look at some of the cars that will be powered by hydrogen. So first up, we have the BMW iX5 Hydrogen. It's expected to be released in 2025 and has a driving range of up to 500 kilometers. It'll be interesting to see how it compares to the battery-powered BMW iX3. Next on our list is the Hyundai N Vision 74, a hydrogen fuel cell powered race car that can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just four seconds. Moving on to the Toyota GR Yaris H2, this is a really exciting addition to Toyota's lineup and we can't wait to see how it performs. The car is a modified version of the popular GR Yaris with a hydrogen fuel cell and electric motor, providing a unique driving experience. Honda CR-V FCEV is another hydrogen fuel cell vehicle in development and is expected to have a range of around 580 kilometers. Once again, we're incredibly excited to see how this one stacks up against other SUVs in the market. The 2024 Hyundai Nexo is an upcoming hydrogen fuel cell SUV with a range of over 600 kilometers, making it a brilliant option for long distance travel. It also has an impressive acceleration rate going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 9.5 seconds. The Hyperion XP1 is a sleek and futuristic hydrogen powered supercar and we can't wait to see how it performs. It's expected to have a driving range of up to 1000 miles and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.2 seconds. The Toyota Hilux Hydrogen is a hydrogen powered pickup truck and is expected to have a range of around 500 kilometers. It'll be interesting to see how this one compares to other pickup trucks in the market. Namex HUV is a hydrogen fuel cell powered Hummer inspired vehicle that's in development. It's expected to have a range of around 500 kilometers and will be a unique addition to the SUV market. Last but not least, we have the Land Rover Defender FCEV a hydrogen fuel cell powered version of the iconic Defender. It's expected to have a range of around 650 kilometers and will be a great option for off-road adventures. If we take a look at the price comparison between hydrogen cars and other types of cars, we can see that currently hydrogen cars are more expensive than their gasoline or electric counterparts. For example, the Toyota Mirai, which is a popular hydrogen car model, starts at around $60,000. In comparison, the average price of a gasoline-powered car is around $36,000, and the electric cars can range from $30,000 to $80,000. However, it is important to note that the price of hydrogen cars is expected to come down as production volume increases and technology advances. Since Toyota has already announced plans to reduce the cost of its fuel cell system by 50% and hopes to bring the price of its hydrogen cars in line with its gasoline-powered cars by 2025. Furthermore, as more companies invest in hydrogen fuel cell technology, we can expect the competition to drive down prices even further. So, do you think other automakers will follow Toyota's lead in developing hydrogen fuel cell technology, or will they focus more on electric vehicles? Well, let us know in the comments down below. And as always, we'll see you next time.